miles of smiles up and down the valley. It's Friday and we have beautiful conditions here on the Valley Sky Cam. We see a couple of clouds off in the western distance, but other than that, it is extremely gorgeous outdoors. Take a look at this 80 degrees on the thermometer down one degree from the high today. 77 this hour in Moorhead. It's very dry. Dew points are in the 40s. That's below average, so that means we'll cool off fairly quickly tonight. Look at the relative humidity at around 32%. Grand Forks, much the same. Uh, what cumulus clouds were out there are quickly dissipating. 80 on the thermometer and a six mile per hour wind from the northeast. 70s across the eastern third of North Dakota. The Red River Valley made it into the 80s today. Grand Forks and Fargo both seeing highs there. Mid 70s through Lakes Country, perfect with light winds. The water must be glass like 79 in Roseau and Thief River at 77. So that's your snapshot right now. Here's a look at the satellite and radar composite, and most of us are seeing sunny skies. A few off to the far east are seeing some clouds and sprinkles fast moving, much like last night, and the far west also. We'll start with those in the Devil's Lake Basin. Just a few pimples on the radar out there. One causing some lightning moving in toward Binford. This is going to produce a quick, fast shower, but it does look like it's going to pass just off to the west of uh, Binford. We are seeing some Wells County showers as well. Now, when we sneak out over to the other area here, these should stay within the blue lines Hutch drew on there for you. I don't think Fargo sees anything in the way of showers tonight to slow down your fun at the baseball game at the park or if you're watching fireworks tonight in West Fargo. On the big lakes out here, Red Lakes, this is northern Beltrami County, a few showers wandering through. It'll be fairly quiet, and if one does pass through, it'll be a quick hitter. But uh, heavy rain briefly from these cells. Quiet through the nation's midsection. Thunder and lightning across the Rockies tonight and the east coast of the United States seeing a smattering of clouds and showers. Let's set your hour by hour forecast into motion. And as we close out our Friday night, temperatures are going to slip into the 60s once we get beyond sunset. And any rain chances or clouds will dissipate by sunset tonight as well. Overnight, extremely quiet. A few clouds down in our southwesternmost counties, Dickey, Lamore. You might have a sprinkle as we go towards Saturday morning. And all of us start with temperatures in the 50s. A few of us could briefly dip down into those upper 40s, crack open the windows. It's going to be refreshing first thing in the morning. Midday temperatures rising towards 70. Light and variable wind direction as we go through the mid-morning hours. And in the afternoon, we'll see an increase in clouds. Our South Dakota counties will have the best chance of showers and thunderstorms for our Saturday afternoon. They will be more widespread central and western North Dakota with hit and miss thunderstorms. Those could be on the strong side, but for us, I think we stay quiet. And it's going to be temperatures almost a carbon copy of what we saw today. Tomorrow night, late, all those storms dive south into South Dakota, setting the stage for some Sunday showers. And we'll talk more about that in a second, but right now, Hour by hour forecast, Fargo 50s to start the day, rising to near 80, sunset at 847 tomorrow night. Cooler 60s down in the southern counties thanks to clouds and thunder shower chances elsewhere. 70s to near 80 degrees across the board. A gorgeous moonshot set here sent in by Donna. This was over Fargo of the full moon recently. And we got to tell you, the seven day forecast for Sunday shows a 50% chance of scattered showers. Yeah, we'll be phoning home for some warmer temperatures and they will arrive as we go through next week. Look at the summertime heat Monday through Wednesday. Our best chance of rain Tuesday and Wednesday. And we could have severe storms with the increased moisture and heat in the atmosphere there. But you know what? Good weather throughout to go ahead and get the fun done. Whether you're mowing lawns or whatever. Take a look at this guy. Oh, that's me. Thanks, Dusty, my neighbor for uh capturing me and uh, you know in between shows sometimes you just got to get it done before the rain happens and uh, me and the trusty lawnmower there were uh, getting her done Mike what's with the well, lack of pants yeah that's the big question we were there wondering. were pants on there <laughs> shorts there uh, and my legs are longer like than most so they kind of just hang out over the edge of the lawnmower okay wow yeah, we'll take yeah. your word for it I was getting sun on them you, you... I'm All not right. feeling yeah, good yeah yeah <laughs> big changes ahead for